Hi there, Z here, and I hope you guys are ready for this. This I, I blame this on you guys, okay? Simply for the fact that I, I have recently gotten intelligence back that you guys don't really care about these Rantable series. And that's why I say, for, the, for those of you who don't know what Rantable is, it's basically, I don't have the correct sense of mind to go to one separate thing and then go down like a, like a checklist. Whenever I'm pissed off about something, I just start, I just start talking. And, and since I'm talking, 60% of the time I'm also drinking. And that also incorporates to me also talking about more shit. So it's a ramble. It's a rant. It's a rantable. That's what I'm calling it. That's what it's going to be from now on. I did like three videos that was already called that before here. But I think it's going to be a regular thing. And I want everyone to know that when you come into a rantable video you're gonna get this you just get just just if you get lost halfway through the video you're you're part of the normal population it's fine i'm the one who has something fucked up in my head where i can't i can't logically go through every single thing so i think of one thing and then i boom five minutes talking about that one thing okay and apparently people like it people like me ranting people like me getting pissed off and look here i don't get pissed off about every little thing like every youtuber out there okay let me let me just do that i'm gonna make myself a drink here because as you can tell this is part of the 60 percent that i was telling you about um i'm not a youtuber that's just uh, you know ah, airline peanuts i remember when it was airline wafers i can't believe they switched it no 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 i i actually i sit on something for a long time and I watch a lot of, like, commentary videos because it's nice to have that in the background when I'm playing games, when I'm doing shit at work. It's, it's, it's something that's, like, mindless where it's just like, okay, yeah, I can listen, I can listen, I can listen. And, um, I, I don't really do a rant bull or, or a rant on my channel unless I hear something that really pisses me off to, to an extent that I'm, I'm biting my, my tongue and tasting the copper of the blood. Um... Or I hear something that I haven't really been people hearing people talking about and I want to add to that conversation. This is in the first camp right there. Because something is pissing me off about YouTube so much. Can we talk about YouTube, guys? I really want to talk about YouTube. And this isn't going to be in a lovely light. Don't get me wrong. I love you, YouTube. You have given me endless amounts of entertainment. And you have also given me a platform to entertain many others. And being a person who loves entertaining people to... An almost an obsessive extent. When I first started YouTube, when I started getting some traction, aka more than one subscriber a day, I'm like, refresh, refresh. Who else likes my shit? Refresh, refresh. Because I like just knowing that people like my shit. But YouTube, ah, oh, YouTube. Not only did you shoot yourself in the foot, you shot yourself in the femur, the fucking chest, and the head at the same time. Let me explain this to people. YouTube has never been a perfect place, and, you, and, and, and I, I'm going to start this off by explaining why I personally think I have zero evidence, okay? I have no evidence in, 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 in saying what this is. My evidence of why YouTube is the way it is is because it's, it, it's picky. It's very picky, not only with the people that they'll have on their, their, their thing, or on their uh, website, but also the people, the advertisers that they allow on their websites too. Like, I, I don't know about you guys here, and I have ad block for some of the shit that I have out there. So I have ad block on my computer. I take it off for people that I like. If I really like you and I think you want that money, and I'm, I'm <laughs> my, uh, my criteria for that is really low. So if I think you're good enough and I see you put enough time in your fucking videos, I'll be like, all right, uh, uh, I'll put something in my ad block program saying don't ever do it for this you know, this channel or whatever this comes out. Sometimes it fucks up and I have to re readjust it. But um, that's what I typically do because if I think you deserve money, I think you fucking deserve money. I will watch, I will watch four fucking commercials just to watch you because I believe people who do a good job deserve the fucking money. And I even have donated on several Patreons over the years. Currently, I'm only at like two on my private one, not the one that I have out there for you guys. I have a private one that I do it's just so I don't, my, my personal life doesn't get into my professional life. Um, but uh, I, I prefer, like, I, I see people need money. So I, I agree with YouTube. YouTube, if you can get as much money as you can so you can give it away as fast as you can, that's fine. But what happens is I blame society. I, I blame society and I don't mean this as, I, I'm going to try to keep this non-political simply for the fact that 
I don't like politics on this channel. I, I like, no, I like politics not on this channel. That was a better way of saying it. I'm fine with politics. I'll tell you my personal opinion if you come on my Twitch and ask me about a certain political subject. You might not like the answer. You might like the answer. Who really knows? I keep politics off of this channel simply for the fact that it's like, eh, you know, I want this to be a... I'm, I'm ashamed of saying this, but a safe space for entertainment. I don't want people to come on here being like, fucking hell, this is like Quentin Reviews all over again. No, that's not what I want to do. I, what I want to do is entertain as much as I can without offending as many people as I can. That being said, not sure what I could do about this one. This is going to be a, probably a long video because I got a lot, a lot of shit to say. Simply for the fact that, let's go back to YouTube. I was on the little rant there. Let's go right back to YouTube. YouTube has been shitting the bed a lot. It has shit so many beds. There's probably uh, uh, there's probably a mattress company that has finally officially get you know st pulled its advertisements from YouTube because it keeps shitting their beds so much. That's exactly how much times they've shit the bed. They do things over and over and over again. Algorithms fuck up, so people who don't deserve to get demonetized or taken off the channel are taken off the channel. Pedophiles or or terrorist activity, yeah, go ahead. Uh, we'll let them through because in their tags they said family friendly. You know, hey, th this is family friendly. Uh, uh, bunnies, uh, gold, uh, 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 silver engagement rings, and then it's just like, ah, sure, I guess we're good. You know, we looked at their tags, it's fine. Their their title says, uh, harm the infidels, but no, don't worry about it. Look at their tags, that's really what it is. We're a computer, we don't know what the fuck we're doing. And so, I understand it's a huge-ass company. Huge-ass companies are hard to, to, to manage, especially from what YouTube has said, or Google has said, that YouTube doesn't really bring in a lot of money with how many people they have to do to bring them in to review all the manual reviews that they have to do. They have to bring in, like, a, a fleet of people to do that. Supposedly! I don't know. I've never been in the Chinese workshop that they have all these people going at, but we're going to take their word for it because I'm not here to get sued, okay? So... Basically, they've always had a long string of records of shittiness. And very recently, in the past month, couple months, I think, there has been a rumor that YouTube hasn't dispelled, so that usually means it's, it's right, that they're going to take away the dislike bar. Pause. Let's talk about that. The like dis... I don't even know if they even said like. I think it said just dislike. They never mentioned taking away the whole like, like dislike thing. If you want to press a like, go ahead and press a like. Yeah, I know, I realize that a lot of the really, really popular movies and music and everything else like, like that is getting mass downvoted. Video games! My, my, my main squeeze. Video games. There's a bad trailer that comes out or a bad reaction to whatever they're saying. And there's, it's like, oh, <laughs> it's like a one to nine dis, uh, like to dislike bar. It's insanely low. And let's not, let's not bring up YouTube Rewind, okay? Let's just not do that. If you guys want to see that, I made a video about it. My, I would suggest you checking it out. But um, it's it's one of those type of things where you're not coming out here and saying that, hey, this is just for everyone. Go ahead and upload you. This is YouTube. You are you, and you can put whatever you want to put out. Hey, as long as it doesn't, you know, interfere with what we like. If we don't like you, then I, hey, guess what? Demonetized. Guess what? You're not going to get any money. Okay. It's okay, I got a Patreon. I'll just go over there. I'll just keep putting stuff on here because I like it. BAM! Patreon! Can we cut? Hey, hey guys, what's going on? This is uh, Sarah and what? Just, just, just Skippy? Uh, can, can we talk to you about this? This guy, motherfucker, this motherfucker thinks that he is funny. Do you think that you could take him out? Awesome. Now what? I guess I'll do this other one. Okay, other company, can we fucking talk to you about that? And it's just going to keep going on and on and on because as long as you take away the like-dislike ratio of absolutely everything, what you're doing is <laughs> you're fucking stopping what people are trying to say on a website that's supposed to be free and open. What the fuck is going on, YouTube? I love this website because, yes, I love the co the cancerous comment section. I've gotten a lot of bad comments right now, and I know I, I would get like a thousand more bad comments if I had social media. I don't have social media because I think it's cancerous. You guys can disagree with me all you want. And if you guys want me to open up one, I mean, I'm always open to the idea. But guess what? You guys will see one thing from me. One comment that will say, oh, this is Twitter. Or, oh, this is Facebook. And then you won't hear anything from me for like a month and a half because it's not part of my life. It has never been a part of my life. It never will be because you shouldn't care what I'm fucking doing and I shouldn't care what you're doing. You come to me for entertainment. I hope I entertain you guys. I really do. 
I hope I entertain you. But guess what? When YouTube says you like the guy, boy, I, I, hope, I hate to say this. I really hate to say this, but that guy's kind of a dick. And then you're like, well, yeah, that's why I like him. Yeah, but I mean, if, 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 if I could tell you that you can't like his videos, you can't dislike or like his videos, what are you going to say about that? I, I, don't, I don't like that, Susan. I, I don't like that whatsoever. What do you fucking know? I'm the CEO, bitch. I know what I'm talking about. And then it's going to go down that rabbit hole for about a thousand times. But that's my like-dislike rant right there. There's going to be multiple ones in this because this shit has been on my mind forever. Because like I mentioned at the beginning, I only really say shit when it's really pressing. And losing the like to dislike, that's not really... There's no hard evidence that they're doing that yet. It's it's starting to get more and more the entire time, but uh, it, you know it's it's kind of jumping the gun. That's that's one thing I feel about um, commentary channels a little bit is that they jump the gun sometimes. Oh, look at this one thing that's a rumor. I can't believe this is happening. No, it's not happening yet. Once it does happen, believe you me, I want to hear about that shit because I like hearing you yell about stuff, as people probably like hearing me yell about this. But when I heard about the like dislike thing, I was just like. Get, make it go away. You know, can can I can I make a video about this that isn't being you know parroted from every other thing? No, not really. You know, everyone's doing a way better the job than I am. I'm screaming at a webcam and a, and a and a microphone right now. That's all I'm doing. So it's one of those type of things where it's like, uh, do I have anything new to bring to the table? No, not really. Nothing that I've seen at least. So what? What? Whatever. I'll just I'll just skip this one. And then YouTube's just like, hey, by the way, Zach. By the way. Where we're using an algorithm, and we're taking away bad comments too, and it's like, okay, I, okay, that sucks. That really sucks. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I am not. I don't care what the fuck people say, and I know some people are gonna jump to the. Wait a minute. Do you do you not care that people say the n word and say the f word on the internet? No, I don't, cause they're fucking words. I, I'm not going to get a lot of positivity on this they're fucking words they're words now if you say and i'm not going to say it i have no problem like i said with the words but i want to keep this channel as nice and not 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 in your face as possible like hey this fucking n word over here this guy's a faggot and it's like oh 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 i can't believe you said that i can't believe you said no i'd be like wow spicy meme kid what are you, fucking 12? Oh my god. Like, it's one of those type of things where it's like, I've been on the internet my entire fucking life. I've heard every mean word not only said about other people, but about myself. I, I, I was a nice, I was a nice, innocent kid before coming on the internet and playing video games. But guess what? You fucking lose two video game, like, matches in a row with the same guy. He's gonna start saying some shit to you. <laughs> you, you, you can guarantee fucking tea that people don't fuck around on the internet when it comes to winning. It's a, it's a, it's. It, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. You know, people are competitive. I like the competitiveness of video games. That comes with words that I don't particularly fucking like. But guess what? I say, oh, you know, oh, good meme, bro. Oh, you're an idiot. Uh, uh yeah. I could fight back with them, or I could say, you know what? I'm hung over right now. I don't feel like talking about this shit, so mute. I have no problem with muting. People who mute or block, I understand. There's only so much shit you could take before you're like, oh, yeah, I get it. I'm an idiot. I'm overweight. I'm a virgin. I'm a faggot. I get it. Fine. Whatever. Who cares? I've heard this a thousand times. Block. Mute. Whatever. So that's going on with that rant right there where they're just like YouTube came in and they said we're, we're, we're taking away we're taking away special words that we don't like. And it's like, okay, fine. Take away words. Whatever. I mean, I'll just say... <laughs> let's be fair. The internet will just say more interesting things to say the same words to get around the algorithm. It's fine. We're, we're interesting people. We'll find interesting ways around your shit. And then uh, YouTuber said... You, and so I, the entire time, I'm just like, okay, that's a lot of shitty stuff that you're doing, YouTube. Okay. You know, can I, can I get back on to what I was doing? And they said, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute, Zach. Wait a minute. Susan would 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 you could be here? Uh, can I can I also say that you know you know super chats those things that give YouTubers their livelihood? You know most of the time a lot of people use you know uh, 
super chats, super chats, Patreon, whatever. They use all that shit to, to pay their bills. They use all that shit to have a good time, you know, buy their alcohol, buy their cigars, maybe go to a strip club, whatever. The money is theirs because someone else gave them the money saying, thank you very much for being who you are. Thank you very much for being what you are and entertaining me. Thank you. Yeah, you know that one? It said a naughty word in there. Mm. We don't like naughty words here at YouTube. No, no, no. So you know what? We're going to take that money away from you, but don't worry. We're going to be putting it towards a charity. And they're like, is it a charity I like? No, it's a random charity. It's a random charity. Of course we're not going to do the one that you like. We're not going to ask your fucking opinion, asshole. It's like, okay. Oh, YouTube. Oh, YouTube. I, I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to make a video about this. I'm a man who only has 500 subs. It's not going to affect a lot of people, but guess what? I'm going to fucking milk this as much as I can. So I'm like, YouTube, you're fucking up so bad, but there's a lot of people out here who are catching you on your fuck ups. And you know what? They're doing a good job. So I'm, I don't need to make a video about YouTube and all of its fuck ups. For the past, all this shit happened in the past like eight months. Like, this is all very, very concentrated. So it's just like, okay, YouTube, fine. Fine, whatever. Do your thing, but you're on thin ice, YouTube. Sujin Wakakiki, you are on fucking thin ice, okay? And so I continue doing my thing. You know, video game reviews, whenever something would come up and I wanted to talk about it, you know, video game reviews, movie reviews, commentaries, I was doing my own thing, I was having a good time, I was drinking my little alcohol right here. By the way, all this yelling is getting my throat fucking part, so excuse me. Mm. <sighs> people who don't know, people who are new on the channel, I don't do a lot of jump cuts, I don't. I do the shit live, if you don't like it, I'm sorry, <laughs> please don't unsubscribe, I'm just joking. Um... But it's just like you're on thin ice, okay? I'm, but I'm going to keep doing my own thing because even though my yelling, angry, uh, basement-dwelling opinions aren't going to do shit for 500 uh, people here, then something happened in the past few days where it's just like, okay, so this is going to have to be something that I'm going to have to do to feel good. It's if this is because let's be fair, nobody feels good about what happens until they tell someone else. Because that's the best part. If you're having something that's really gnawing at you and eating at your soul and tickling at you in a dick, what you got to do is you got to talk to a friend, a family member, whatever. They're used to me doing this. You know, I have I have people. I have a huge family, huge family, small amount of friends, and that's the way I like keeping it. Okay. I have a huge amount of family members and a small amount of uh, uh, and a small amount of friends, and I know each one of them what I'll do. I talk to this guy about politics. I talk to this guy about YouTube drama. I talk to this guy about what's happening in my personal life here. I got people to go to, but guess what? Sometimes they just say, "Zach, fucking quiet." Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying to, to to. I'm at my kid's ballet recital. You're going to have to shut the fuck up. And I'm like, but. But guy, I can't believe you don't believe. I can't believe you're not mad about what you know uh, the the latest YouTuber is doing. You know, it, it, it's not the best time, so that's when I talk to you guys. And the most recent abhorrent thing that YouTube will do, and there's a part where I understand why they do it. I'm trying to be as middle of the ground as I can, but as some of you know, I have bias against YouTube. I know, weird, right? bias against YouTube? The place that fucked over so many people for so many times? Yeah, I don't got a little bit of bias, but not to keep you on the edge of your seats, they are deciding to take away the entire comment section, don't worry, from a few YouTubers. You know, just from a few videos. It's not just because you had it on the other video, don't mean you won't have it on this one. And I know that sounds absolutely awful and some of you might already know what i'm talking about you probably would have known for the past at least 10 minutes obviously i don't know how long this has been going but let me explain the backstory because this isn't just something that comes out of left field okay so there's been a lot of youtube shit that's been going on there has been the elsa gate where just weird shit just weird shit. I, I, I was not into it. I was not... Uh, I heard about Elsa Gate when it was happening like six months ago. And I was like, mm, mm, I don't really care about that. And then curiosity struck me one day. And I was like, I should probably check out one of these. And boy, 
they they wiped a lot of them from YouTube by the time I decided to to look up. So I'm sure there's worse shit that you found online when it was at the height of its uh, of its creepiness. But the shit that I saw was probably tame compared to that, and it was still like, ooh, if I could imagine, if I could just imagine my my nephews watching this, I I would be so mad. I would be so mad, but at the same time, I would at least see what my nephews were doing because I'm always paranoid about that. You know, they say, no, I'm just watching Dora the Explorer, and then it's Dora the Anal Penetrating Man Beast. You know, it's like, you could easily go different places. I've been on the internet. I know exactly what's going on. So, weird shit happened. A lot of advertisers left. That's That was the adpocalypse. And now the second one has happened where a lot of advertisers have come out and just said, this is weird. We didn't know that you had weird people on here. And it's like, have you have you been to the fucking internet? You know, Nissan? I don't know if Nissan's one of the ones. I should retract that. I obviously have no idea who pulled out. I didn't do that much research on it. But they literally just said, you know what? We're pulling out, which means less money for the people that you love, for the people that I love. And it's just a bad, a bad thing overall. And um, at that point, YouTube's just like, you know what? I, I know that this channel does its best to not break guidelines because the channel that was that had some public attention is i can't remember what it is i don't want to attract anybody to that channel or whatever for whatever reason bit paranoid about that but um it's like a channel where they have a kid who is in gymnastics so they have the kid slim gymnastics little boy slim gymnastics doing stuff Apparently he had an accident at one point and they, they showed his growth to healing and doing more gymnastics, you know, working over the the pain of, of, of breaking a leg. Again, this is all stuff I don't know. I'm just kind of speaking off the top of my head. But there were creepy people in the comment section. Now, don't, tell, don't ask me about the percentages because I obviously have no idea. I did not want to do research because I, I feel I have a certain feeling about pedophiles where they need to be lined up and shot in a, in a brick wall somewhere in Soviet Russia. But that's my personal opinion. Go ahead and, go ahead and try, to, try to fucking uh, fight me on it. It's not going to end well. It's going to be either one of us screaming and then leaving the call. It's going to be one of those two things. But... There was a lot of creepy things. Some guy said, hey, look at this. Oh, there's creepy people on the internet. And then advertisers got scared and left. And that's why a lot of them are saying, well, we have to start taking out comment sections. All of them. Because we there's no way that we can go through 10,000 comments and say, oh, these are the ones, the bad ones. We could put as many algorithms as we can. We could put as many algorithms as we want. But guess what? It's always, always, always going to be hard because people like i mentioned before people are creative they will find other ways they will always find other ways to, to express their opinion and I, I i agree that we don't want that shit on the website we don't i i, I agree to that Ped pedophilia makes me sick to my fucking stomach but at the same time it's really for the 0 0.05 percent of the people that are doing this shit it's really not a good idea to just do a broad swath Broad swath. It's like me saying, like, hey, you know what? Pedophiles, they go to public pools and watch kids. And then they bring sunscreen and they, they rub it on their chest like they're a Roman, uh, a, a, a overweight Roman, you know, landlord, you know, back in the day. So, you know what? We just got to close down most of the pool. We just got to, we got we to gotta be sure that only the pool can only have 40 plus year old men. And that's it. No women either, because that that will make it weird to the forty plus year old men who are single and who are objecting them, objectifying the women. So it only has to be that. And it's like, what about what about the kids swim? What about family swim? What about that? Well, sometimes you gotta take away some things to get the broader picture. It's like, oh no, you're 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 fucking you're fucking hurting other people because you're just like ah. This is the best way we could do it. I'm sorry. We tried algorithms. We tried getting people to look at every single thing. Ah, this is the best that we could do now. And at that point, you lost, YouTube. You lost. Sorry. 
Put the cards down on the table. Oh, you didn't lose. You didn't win with a pair of twos. Big fucking surprise. Unfortunately, that's what it is. And it's really sucky because as a upcoming YouTuber, I need that feedback. I've gotten a lot of feedback and I've got it from the very beginning to the very end right now. Some things I have changed. Some things I have not changed. There's some people who are just like, don't do your beginnings. Don't do them. We don't like them. And it's like, well, what's we? Because I've had a lot of people who do like them. And then it's back and forth. Then it's up to me to just be like, oh, what do I feel like is best? Boom. That would not have happened without that comment section. I know a lot of you are going to be saying, well, get a, a social media. Like I mentioned before, I'm not getting a fucking social media unless there's a backlash with it because I don't like social media. That's a whole nother beast that I could do another rant bull about and it'd be fucking 45 minutes long. Long minute short for people who like who are like me and like, I'm not getting a Twitter. I'm not getting a Facebook. I'm not getting a MySpace. I'm not getting anything else like that. I need these comment section. Well, we don't like what your people are saying. You people said faggot 67 times. I have a comment section that has 500 comments to it. Yeah, I know. But there's one guy who said it 50 times here. So you are on thin ice, mister. It's like, this is giving a lot of power to people who don't need the power. I like comment sections. I realize that they're full of just shit. I like reading through that shit. I really do. I love reading through the comment section because I can either look at something and say, that's a really good point. Or I can look at someone else and say, you are a fucking moron. What are you, a three-year-old that happened to figure out how to get onto this video through mommy and daddy's iPad? Get the fuck out of here. Like, it's one of those type of things. And it's, it's something that not only, like, older YouTubers, not older, but bigger YouTubers don't need them. Smaller YouTubers, it's nice to get the feedback, YouTube. It really is nice to get that feedback. And this is the point where a lot of people are just going to say, use the whole, I'm not sure if it's a straw man argument, but it's a fucking stupid argument where they're just like, eh, they're, they're their own company. They could do whatever the fuck they want. It's their own company. Yeah, thanks for the fucking information, Captain Obvious. Of course they could, dri they, they could drive their company down to the dirt if they want to. Of course, go ahead. Go ahead and fucking do it. But if I'm sitting here bitching as a, not even a consumer, but a producer in this in this uh, website, they don't have the right to say what you're doing is a bad idea. So they can either take my advice and the advice of hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions. I don't know. It's hard to tell because there's a lot of lurkers out there that do their own shit and they, they don't want to, they, they listen to it, they either agree, disagree, and then either share or don't share their personal opinion. I know so many people that don't even like or dislike videos and I, I'm fine with that. I, I have no problem with that as a contributor to YouTube because people have the right to do whatever the fuck they want. And when YouTube says, hey, we don't like what your comment section is doing and you say, I, what the fuck do you want me to do? Moderize your comment section. I, I, I can't fucking do anything like that. Are you kidding me? I, I, I probably could do that on mine even though I won't because it's stupid. I find, like I just said before, no words offend me. No words are really fucking super bad to me. I mean, there is a stopping point, obviously. But if I can see what you read and it has bad words in it, but I know you're memeing or I know you're joking around or being hyperbolic or being uh, sarcastic, I'll be like, oh, fuck it. That guy's doing a joke. I didn't find it funny. Some of the times there are some <laughs> edgy jokes I find pretty funny. But it's up to my discretion. And what YouTube is telling me is, look, I know you have a full-time job. I know you have a family. I know you have a fucking life. But you also have to spend a full-time job figuring out and taking out comments. And it's like, why? Because YouTubers were a, a bag full of pussies and said, no, we don't like what you're saying. We're out. Which is going into my final thing. I'm going to go into my final thing. I know that you guys are all tired of listening to my voice right now. But I'm going to go into my final thing. This all started happening when people started caring more about individuals and not of the broader picture. And this is where politics is going to be hard for me not to bring in or hard for me not to uh, show. Because, again, I'm a guy who doesn't care. I don't care what people say. I grew up on the internet. I, I've been told every bad word in the dictionary. I, I don't really care. But what happens is you have a handful of people, very loud, very fucking pierced, tattooed, colored haired motherfuckers out there, and they say, we don't like this. And they, and, and unless, like back in the day, it was like, you know, advertisers like, I don't know what the fuck you want us to do. 
take out your advertisement. Huh? Why? Uh, it, like, it, it, when this was with mainstream kind of media, like all the big channels here, somebody says some random shit on Twitter, nobody fucking cared. Nobody cared. I didn't like the way that uh, the Laffy Taffy commercials had a, a, a black woman in there and uh, they didn't have a, a white bi-gendered man sent. It's like, I delete? I don't know what the fuck you want from me here, dude. Unless we have like mil hundreds of thousands of the same fucking thing, then we're not going to do anything. Don't watch the, the, the commercial next time it comes on. Deal. Fucking done. It was when, it was when advertisers are just like, eh, you know what? Ah, boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. I, I, I just don't understand. Men must die, two, two, two. God, she has something really going for her. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it has something going for it. They have something. Going. Fuck, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. It's one of those type of things where they find one thing or a handful of things and they're like, we did something wrong. Oh, no. And then they pull out everything. Back in the day, it was like, are you going to make us money? Are you going to make us money? Awesome. Yeah, I, don't, I don't fucking care what other people say. Make us money. Make other people money. Make yourself money. Go ahead. It's when they, they, they started caring about feelings more than money. And I know that sounds very, 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 very close-minded. But that's what companies like. Money. Money makes the world go around for companies because it keeps them in, 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 in service for longer and longer and longer. And I, I'm not even sure... If I'm wrong about this, make sure to put it down in the comments. This is actually one thing I want to hear about you guys. What kind of advertisers have you guys seen? Because I don't know about you guys. I have seen, like like I said, I, I've, I've taken off a lot of shit. I have seen zero advertisers for things like, I don't know, guns. I have seen zero advertisers for things like, I don't know, condoms. I've seen zero advertisers for things like, hmm, whiskey. I've seen zero advertisers for beer, for vodka, for anything adult themed, because guess what? YouTube wants to make it a very kid-orientated thing. So have you guys ever seen something like this? I've gotten a lot of questions from YouTube, one of those surveys, saying, which one of these beer advertisers have you seen as an advertisement? And I said, fucking none, ever. I've gone to Pornhub and seen all these things over and over again. So Pornhub's making a ton of fucking money, obviously. So why the hell can't YouTube just say, look, Walther, fucking Wild Turkey, Trojan, come to us. Come to us. We are now being open to more advertisers because a lot of the pussy ones are fucking leaving. So come to us. Just go ahead and come. We'll be fine. You know, we'll give you money. We'll show your thing. We'll share money around. Give money, you know, you'll get uh, publicity back. I don't know if it's because YouTube is being a prick about things and saying, no, we are above that. Sexuality, alcohol, firearms, tobacco, no thank you. Yes, uh, we would love to see another gay cruise. Please, please, I would love it. I would love to see another gay Oh, you guys are leaving? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a shame. It's a, a Fanta commercial. Come on, guys, come on. Back in the day, it was like you're supposed to be like 13 or 14 to own one. And now it's just like, a, eh, can your kid push sign in on your iPad? Fantastic. We'll take that. I don't know. Again, I, I haven't done much research into this. If there is a stipulation, a law, anything stopping YouTube from getting adult themed things. And if YouTube has to have YouTube.com dot adult dot, you know, dot com or sorry, I fucked that up. YouTube dot adult dot com or something like that. Have one that's just like a late night YouTube because guess what? It's okay if you split your fan base because you'll get more advertisers over here while keeping the family-friendly shit over here. You might still have problems in your comment sections with the like, dislike, whatever. But you two, what you're doing is you're shitting the bed, like I said before, multiple, multiple, multiple times, and I don't fucking understand why you're doing it. Maybe it's just us. It's a small-minded South Dakotan brain. Maybe all I need to know is how to make corn and moonshine. But guess what? I don't. I don't. I do YouTube and I do a full-time job that's not fucking farming. So explain to me why you can't do the shit that I just told you to do. Please. If you're being if, if you're being cocky about the whole thing and saying that we're above it, not a good look on you and you're going to die. You're going to you're going to die. That's all I'm going to say. I'm wrapping this up by saying that I hope that there's a secondary video pro or video website that comes up 
Um, I know, like, Bit Shoot's one of them, but that one's kind of... Uh, I want to talk about something else right now, but I'm not going to. I, just a short one. I, I, I know a lot of people do alternate, uh, like, websites, like BitChute. But if you go on BitChute, it's a lot of right-leaning shit, and I am a right-leaning man. But guess what? I don't want to watch more right-leaning shit. I want just an average, basic fucking website so I could just talk about shit and watch people talk about shit that doesn't have a political leaning, which is why I'm doing what I do, which I know I just fucking messed it up by saying that I was right-leaning, but whatever. You guys probably already know that by now. So, YouTube, you fucked up. I I, I feel like the next, the next thing I want to talk about is Twitch because Twitch... Oh, that's a whole nether beast, and it's a fun time to talk about that. But as of right now, I will end this. I hope you guys all survived this long. Hope you have a great week. I will have my next video game review out, hopefully. I, I'm still trying I'm trying to figure out over a couple different couple different video games I'm looking at. But cheers guys. Hope you have a great week. Cheers. One more time, cheers. <laughs>